Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Diana and I was born with HIV. Welcome to my channel where my goal is to help those who are positive and to help educate those who are negative. I thought it would be super cool to do something like Reddit reactions where I would read off a Reddit post as an HIV positive person and put my opinion on them. Cause y'all already know there's gonna be some crazy stories out there, but also there's gonna be posts that bring up a lot of useful discussion points. For example, I thought this one that we're gonna talk about today is super interesting. It was posted like one week ago, so super new, super recent, uh, straight to the point. So I'm just gonna read it off. <laughs> okay. First date. If I go out with a guy on a first date, should I tell him then or wait to see if things advance sexually or would that be like catfishing? Okay, short answer is no, of course not. You don't have to tell them on the first date and no, it is not like catfishing. Here's my thoughts on it now. First off, you're on a first date. There's absolutely no need, no obligation for you to tell anyone anything personal about yourself. So you don't need to tell them about your HIV status. Everyone puts up their best version of themselves for a first date. No one is perfect. Everyone has quote unquote something that they're not gonna share with you until a little bit later on. I mean, that's the whole point of dating. That's how you figure someone out. That's how you get to know someone and so on. So there's absolutely no need for you to tell them on the first date. I'm just going to paint you two scenarios here though. So the first one is you just met the person and you say, hey, I'm Diana. And just so you know, I have HIV. The second scenario is then you've already been going on a few dates. You got to know each other a little bit. You're having a good time. And then you decide to tell them, oh, by the way, I have HIV. Okay, let's go over the differences between these. In the first scenario, you're already making it easier for the person to reject you for your HIV status alone because they don't know you as a person. They're just going to hear HIV and already put a label and put you in a box of HIV. So it's easier for them to just reject you based on that because they can simply just be like, ah, yeah, I don't want to choose HIV. I'm just gonna go on to the next one. You kind of made yourself disposable and they're choosing to reject HIV and not reject you personally, okay? Make sure you have that in your mind. <laughs> in the second scenario, they already got a feel and sense of who you are as a person. So even if they were to reject someone based on their HIV status, you're gonna make it harder for them to do that once they like you. It's harder to reject a person than to reject someone who just has HIV and that's all you know about them. If they like you, they're gonna be like, oh, well, she funny, she cute. I wanna keep hanging out with her. Yeah, she might have HIV, but I don't see it as a problem. That's the goal. Now I can see why this can come off as catfishing because it kind of sounds like you're deceiving the person and you're like trying to reel them in and give them a taste of like Diana to see what they can get. And then bam, by the way, I have HIV. What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I understand and I totally feel what you mean and everything. But I think this is just the wrong mentality because if you did everything right, if you take your medication, you're undetectable, you told them before sex, you were being respectful towards them, you were being responsible, and then it's just on them if they reject you for doing those things. So yeah, I think the poster then commented somewhere else later down the line, like, what if I'm put in a situation where they get mad or angry at me for not disclosing earlier in the relationship? Honestly, if they're getting angry at you for this, where you did everything correct, no, like you should be happy that you have HIV because now it's just acting as a filter for these type of people. You don't want these kind of people anyway, okay? You are better than that. You deserve so much more. You deserve someone who respects you back. If you told them after you had sex, then I think it's totally valid and fair that they are angry as an initial reaction, but that's a different story, different video. We can talk about that later. <laughs> Point is, if you did everything correct, you've been responsible, you're respecting the person by telling them before having sex, etc., etc., then they reject you, that is really on them. That is not on you. I will just say, it sounds like the poster is new to this, so if this is like your first time figuring out how to tell someone, you need to also figure out how to tell someone because how you present it is super important. Yeah, you can check out the how to tell someone you have HIV, I gave some tips on that, because if you realize that you keep getting rejected for your HIV status, even though you get to know the person, maybe you're just presenting it wrong, I don't know, so work on that first. And again, because the poster seems like he or she is a little bit new to this game of telling people that you're HIV positive, um, there was another comment that said, sometimes you don't even need to tell someone if you are undetectable, which 
yeah, that's a debate. We'll talk about it later. But since you are new at telling someone, I really think it's a good start for you to tell someone before you have sex with them. Because based on all my HIV negative friends, when I asked them, would you be okay if someone told you after sex? A lot of them said actually they would be totally fine and they would understand why the person didn't tell them before sex if you are undetectable. But a lot of them also said, no, I would not be okay with it just because of trust. So you're kind of playing Russian roulette because you'll never know if your partner is the one that's chill with it or not. All right, so those are all my thoughts. To summarize, no, you don't have to tell someone on the first date and no, you're definitely not catfishing. HIV does not define you, it's just a part of you. Don't make it feel like it's a bigger deal than it actually is. It's not the end of the world. Don't treat it that way and your partner will see that too. Let me know below in the comments if you agree, disagree, if there's something else I missed whatever. If there's any more Reddit posts, please send them my way because I would love to look at them and give my opinion on them. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao! Okay, I'm just gonna read off my favorite comment because it made me laugh so hard. All right. WTF are we supposed to do next? Tattoo it on our foreheads to warn strangers on the street who might develop a crush? Amazing. Um, no, I think there's even a better idea do a tram stamp. Don't even tell the person you have HIV. This is how they find out you have it. <laughs> no, please don't do that. That's a joke. Please, please, please don't. Terrible advice. Please don't do it. But it's so true. We're not HIV walking billboards. We don't have to warn people we have HIV. We don't have to broadcast it and let everyone know. It's not a big deal. Come on.